when I get back from Florida, I will breed my rabbits. Here's my buck right here, old Max. I got one, two, three, and four. She's my fox, my silver silver tip fox rabbit. Uh, I got five breeding does and one buck. Okay, that'll give me fifty babies. Uh, about March. 18th all right okay that's what my plans are when i get back from florida good morning they eat a lot they take big hand big mouthfuls they like corn corn uh, single grain is probably the highest amount of energy and uh, highest amount of I guess uh, starch it would be sugar en energy I guess that's how they work uh, in a single grain yeah. Yeah, look at can't hold it in his mouth what's the matter Jack hmm and there's old JC right there in the middle. He's the meanest donkey ever. He's got his winter fur on him still. And there's Sia. And there's old Jack. They're just, they're not skinny, that's for sure. Well, let's go feed Gus, okay? Alrighty, I'll get back to you. Well, here's Gus once again, the miniature donkey. Now I'm going to try to hold this with one hand here and do the gate and feed him too. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Go get my glove out of here. One-handed. Yeah, one-handed. Trying to, try to hang that up there. How you doing, guys? Hmm? I told Bill about you yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, he asked how you was. Yeah, he asked how you was. Okay, let's give you a little bite here. Here. Let's give you a little bite. Yeah. Okay. Come on. All right. Well, as the other day, I was trying to explain to you, this is where we're going to do the garden for the corn and the okra. You know, the large stuff. Uh, squash and that kind of thing. So I'm going to get in here today with the tractor and rake all that down and See, I've got that old mulch laying down there. It's been there like two years. So that ought to be pretty rich right there. broke down. So, got electric fence around it so the horse don't get over here. I mean, the donkey don't break in. But, uh, right here is where Gus lives. I've got him a little house right here. He's quite comfortable in his little house. I've got him a little hay rack right there. But, uh, this is where his house is. He's done eat the inside of that house. See? It's a, and this is his pasture that he lives in. It's about a half an acre, a little over a half an acre. But that's his little barn. It's his little shed. It's almost salt block right here. So he has all the convenience out of the wind and what have you. Come on, Gus. Come on. Yeah. And then we take a brush and brush him down. Just let him know that he's loved. Yeah. Ain't that right? Hmm? Ain't that right, Gus? Hmm? Gus is probably, like I said, about 16 years old. And see, he's got the little the uh, cross on him. He's been bred with the Jerusalem uh, burrow. Let's uh, go see what his water looks like. It's been raining a lot. Yeah, so he's got water. And, uh, that's what it looks like. This is the other side of the garden right here. So we'll get back with you. And like I said, I'm going to get in here with the tractor and rake all that down and make it smooth. I have watermelons through here. Dig real good. So then I'm going to get to plow in here and plow it down. I'll get back with you again. Of course, now here's the water for the horses. If y'all wonder about the water. There's the water. It's 700 gallons. 
of water. We have a little heater right there for the winter. And there's Miss Cindy. She's feeding the birds. She's feeding the birds. And there's Chippy the dog. Of course, you can see the trailer back there we're working on. We'll work on that today, too. But, uh, yeah. Hello, Miss Cindy. Hello. Okay. Hello. All right, I'll get back with you. I had no idea I was going to be doing this today, but I got Cindy up here splitting wood with me again. So we took this out of the tops that was laying around. That we had the. Who uh... do you have to do that? Uh, wash bow. What do they call them? What do they do? Loggers. Loggers. Yeah, we had loggers come in and take. The good wood, they took out some pretty big trees and we told them to leave the tops. And so these are the tops. This is the tops from three years ago, 2016. Well, almost five years ago. Almost yeah. five years ago. So it's still burnable and that's what we're doing today. It was, it was right after the, it was that fall after the ice storm. Yeah, the that ice was storm 2015. Was, oh, the ice storm was 2015? Yeah. I thought it was February 2015. I believe it was, yeah. Yeah, because we got the turkeys, uh, 20, uh, Ken's 2016 now. Okay. See? This is like RVing, man. It's kind of hard to keep up with the days. Running a farm is kind of like RVing. Yeah. Anybody interested in coming and sitting here in the wintertime and farming through uh, uh, end of January, February, March, and uh, end of April, uh, come on by and uh, we'll go RVing. Huh. You guys can stay here and farm and take care of the animals and we'll go RV in. How's that, Miss Cindy? It'd be wonderful if we had something to RV in. Well, we do. We're up there restoring that one, remember? I know. Well, we'll be out there. Yeah. Okay, I'll get back at you. We'll see what else we get in today. This is the full day of uh, what we're doing, okay? All right. See you later. Miss Sandy, anytime you want a good workout, this is 10 times better than a gym, so come on down. We can split, haul, do whatever, the wood around here. And get filthy dirty, too. What fun, what fun. Hi, Miss Sandy. Let's go out and see what, I'll show you what I've done with the tractor here. I didn't video none of it. Uh, we were getting ready to go up and split wood and what have you, which I didn't know we were gonna do, but uh, this is what I did while we were, while Cindy was up top, but I took the tractor down here and uh, raked up and decided to mix up that mulch I had on top of this garden right here. This is where we'll plant our corn and beans and things like that, but uh, this is... This is the garden area we had before I built the um, raised beds. But see, I there's some there was some mulch laying around here for I guess two years, but uh, we sp I spread it around. And I want to work, do something in this garden shed. Right here that we built. So I'll pull the shelf across here. This is where I'll What do you think, Cindy? I think it's wonderful. See so if we can build that shit we can put that shelf across there. Yeah. Put that wood across there. Mm -hmm. And that'll hold that up. But what do you think about this right here? See, it good. like in that area is right there, like that. Rake it over, you know. Yeah. And then uh, it's kind of dark though. I like it. Uh -huh. There's a couple areas in there I didn't get, but we can spread that out enough. Pick up the jars and cans and stuff. Yeah, Good that's time. amazing that that's in that mulch. Mm -hmm. That much trash. But I think uh, I think it'll do good. Mm -hmm. We'll run the rows this way again. 
I don't know, maybe we need to run them this way. Because the sun comes up. Yeah, that's the north. So yeah, it comes up like this. And so then it would get it. At yeah. some point, all of it would have sun. Yeah, the sun comes up that direction. So, that's yeah. north. That's north. That is north. Well, north. Why? why is north. Th that way. That's where. Yeah. <laughs> You're a mess. Anyway. I know. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Look how dark it is. It looks good. And it's, you know, this little barrier right here, but it's pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it stinks too, like old dirt. Like old compost. Look at that. Yeah, stuff will grow in here. There's somebody's clothes. Huh? I said, there's somebody's clothes. Oh, that's like one of them uh, safety jackets. Safety vest. Yeah. Wow. Somebody got caught. You think they throwed an employee in there? In that mulcher? Anyway. Yeah, so I'll, we'll bring the tomato cages back over here and plant tomatoes here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll put the tomatoes back over here and uh, we'll grow. Clean this little corner up too. Can we? Can we? Yeah. Let's see, there's a hammer. Yeah. Put it and put it in the shed. And that uh, wire. Then I think I want you to dig this thing up for me. Yeah. And I may use it down yonder in the mulch. In the mulch. Mm-hmm. Over there by the raised beds? No, no. Down, down there by the swing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but... Okay. But, uh, chunk all this stuff. Yeah. Right now we're going to go crack corn. I know. Let me go throw this in the shed. Over there? Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's better than keeping it out here in the corner. Yeah. Because see how that post is leaning in? Yeah. It's from him. That's yeah. them leaning on the fence. We decided to take a little break. And we've made a, uh, a sweet potato hash. Uh, where's my stern stick? Over there on the... On the paper plate. Unless you want to use the little spatula. There you go. Sweet potato hash. With peppers and onions and spam and... Now we're cooking it up just to bring that sweet potato to almost... Almost... I okay, guess what you'd call, what do you call noodles when they're almost done? Al dente. Dante or Dante or, is that French? I don't know. Al dente. You know. Al Not smashy, not mushy like a sweet potato, but a little crunchy. Got some crunch to it, so we'll put the lid back on it. Well, that's enough to keep an army game in. But, uh, we might have leftovers. Cindy's hungry. We're going to have leftovers, no doubt. She likes to boil beans real hard. I, I never met anybody boil beans real hard until I met Cindy, but they're pretty good boiled hard. And uh, we're trying to stay with the keto. We're getting rid of the... This is what another garden area looks like. Here we got some mulch right here. It's got some big sticks in it, what have you, but by the time we get it spread out, what have you. Well, I got some garlic here, volunteer garlic's coming up. There's the strawberry patch right there. But uh, we'll mulch this area right here, and there's the beds. And uh, we'll work them and get them ready. 
And uh, we'll be planting by May. And, uh, still cleaned up here. I thought it was smoking first. <laughs> Smell it. The yeah. motor. I got I don't have the vents covered up. Jimmy Crackcorn? Oh. Well, master's gone away. I don't know. If he cares. Yeah. I was thinking about putting a pulley here mm -hmm. and then a washing machine uh, motor right there, metal yeah. motor right there with a belt. Electric motor. Do that 
and then that'll be it. I guess Braxton could run the drill, huh? Oh, yeah. He'd probably like this better, huh? <laughs> That's in uh, another day at Bromark Farms. Uh, thank you for staying with us all day long. We got uh, Cindy out there picking up leaves, or limbs rather. She's always picking something up, always doing something. But uh, I hate picking up sticks. I'll just mulch them up with a bush hog one more put it on mulch and mulch it after all that's why god has them fall back on the ground so they turn into mulch she wants to pick it up all right thanks for uh, joining us and uh, as always read your bible every day and be sensitive to that spirit and please subscribe okay and tell somebody about us all right uh Thank you so much. See you in the next video.